Hi guys, I'm Smitha and welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things AI and machine learning related. In today's video, as you guys can tell from the title of this video, I'm going to be talking about how I would learn machine learning if I could start over. I've seen so many people make different variations of this on YouTube and I find that these videos are really helpful because you get to see uh, the perspective of these people who have went through this journey and you get to actually learn directly from that. So I think this video is going to be really helpful. So let's get started. The very first thing that you would want to do is actually identify why are you learning machine learning? I know that this is something that not a lot of people talk about, but I feel like this is such an important question to ask yourself because there's so many things that you can do with machine learning. Are you planning on starting a career? Are you planning on landing a job within machine learning? Are you planning on building a product and launching it in the form of your own startup? Or are you just doing this for fun? Right. So there's so many options that you can go about this. These are just obviously the most basic ones. But if you're able to actually answer why do you want to learn machine learning, it kind of makes your entire path much more clear. Um, and obviously, if you are just starting out with learning machine learning, you might not have the answers to this question. But if you are able to answer this question, I guarantee you your entire process of learning machine learning becomes so much easier simply because you already know exactly what you plan on getting out of it. So not only does this question actually help you become more efficient, but it also makes the entire path clearer. So let's start off with the first one, which is jobs. And I'm sure a lot of you guys, I guess majority of people who are learning machine learning, they want to start a career in machine learning. They want to land jobs in machine learning. As I'm sure a lot of you guys watching, that is definitely your goal here. So once you actually identify that, things become so much clearer. And what you should be doing after you have told yourself that this is what you want is you should be looking at at least uh, five to 10 different roles uh, in machine learning and really narrow down on, I think like the top three roles that you're really interested in. So look at different job postings in machine learning, read through them really thoroughly and like try to identify, you know, what exactly do you see yourself working in? The reason I say this is because this is also super, super helpful. A lot of these job descriptions that you guys see, especially in machine learning, some of them are really descriptive. So they go into detail about exactly what type of frameworks, what type of technologies you would be working with. And that kind of sets like a baseline for you on what you guys should be learning. If you want to land these type of roles, these type of jobs, these are the type of frameworks that you should focus on. These are the type of technologies that you should focus on. So you don't have to really ask this question, which I get a lot on my channel, which is, where should, where do I start? What should I learn? By doing this step, these type of questions are really answered for you since you know exactly what type of frameworks and uh, technologies you should focus on to get that dream job that you are planning on getting or to get that dream role that you have set in mind. So let's say you're learning machine learning because you want to create a product and you want to launch your own startup. And this is also a really great way for starting out with machine learning because now you know exactly what you want to do and you can really focus on that. So for example, if you're planning on launching a startup, which is helping other tech companies classify images, you know that from the get go that you should be focusing on computer vision technologies. You'll be focusing on learning a lot of the different algorithms, uh, which are very specific to computer vision. Instead of just getting like a very broad knowledge on machine learning, you can really hyper focus on exactly what you plan on using machine learning for. And that just saves you a lot of time as well. Before we continue with the video, let me introduce you guys to today's video sponsor, Mudrex. Mudrex is a company which is hoping to make crypto investing as easy as possible for everyone. They have created something called Mudrex coin sets, which is essentially mutual funds but for crypto. If you are unsure about exactly what type of crypto to invest in, Mudrex coin sets are a really great alternative because experts are selecting the exact coins for you to invest in based on these Mudrex coin sets and also how the market is performing. 
So this is a great alternative to actually just investing in crypto by yourself. You can rely on these experts who are handpicking exactly which type of coins to invest in based on how the market is performing. The minimum investment amount for coin sets are just $10 and there is no investment fee which is currently being charged. Also, there's an amazing promotion which is currently ongoing where if you invest in any coin sets on Mudrex, 10 lucky winners stand a chance to win a special Mudrex coin set worth up to $100 each. So if you guys are interested in investing in a crypto portfolio which is highly personalized to your investment needs, check out Mudrex website which I'm going to be linking in the description box below. Another thing that I would highly, highly recommend is actually being part of a community. Being part of a community of like-minded people who are learning machine learning with you and who are going through a lot of the similar challenges that you might and people who have actually overcome those challenges already. So that community is going to be filled with a lot of resources. So that's exactly what I've done. I've created a community called School of Machine Learning. It's a Discord server. So if you guys are interested in joining one of the best communities for learning machine learning out there, be sure to click on the link in the description box below and join this amazing community of like-minded people who are also going to be learning machine learning and who are also sharing a bunch of useful resources and project ideas, etc. So one of the biggest uh, issues when it comes to learning machine learning is staying consistent. It's not an easy thing to learn. So staying consistent is such a big part of it. So even if there are times where you might feel like giving up on learning something, it's really important that you actually uh, reach out to people in this community. And I'm sure that you will receive a lot of different forms of help. And that's one way of staying motivated and staying on track. So this is something that I would highly recommend instead of trying to perhaps go at it on your own, which obviously I'm sure a lot of people do as well, but having a community of people who are kind of doing the same thing as you really helps. The third thing is setting a journal or a tracker and also having a target in mind. So what I mean by this is I get a lot of questions of people who are learning machine learning. They start off with, for example, my 2022 uh, roadmap for learning machine learning, and they often ask me exactly how long it takes to finish it. So that really depends on your own uh, learning abilities and what type of prerequisite knowledge that you already have when it comes to programming knowledge or even the mathematical knowledge behind machine learning. If you have that, obviously the entire process becomes much quicker. So once you actually do like a self assessment, you should be able to understand how long it would take you to be sufficiently capable of your own abilities, uh, be confident in your own abilities. And for example, if you want to start applying for jobs, when do you want to do that? So do you want to do that in the sixth month, uh, six months after you're starting, or do you want to start it after a year after you have started learning? So this is something that you should have in mind. Uh, now, whether you achieve that target or not, that's another story, but it really helps to have a target in mind. And by keeping a journal, you're actually able to track exactly the type of progress that is happening and what type of things that you're learning. So looking back a month or so, you're able to understand if you have made some significant progress or not. And then maybe you can go ahead and understand if would you be able to achieve that six month goal that you have set for yourself or that eight month goal that you have set for yourself, or do you have to revise that? So this is something which is very important. And if you are starting to learn machine learning, this is something that you should definitely do. The fourth thing that I would do differently if I could start over with learning machine learning is actually not obsess over courses. So there are so many different courses out there on how you guys can go about learning machine learning. And obviously some of them are really different, but there is no perfect course out there and you should not even be trying to find the most perfect course out there because it just does not exist. There are some really amazing resources and there are just resources which are not that amazing. And it obviously takes some time to actually identify which ones are great and which ones are not great for you. So that takes time and you should not try to spend a lot of time at the very beginning trying to focus, hyper focus on finding the most perfect course because that's just a waste of time to be honest. Instead, experiment with different courses, uh, try out different courses and see what works for you. So that is one of the best things that you can do is actually try out a bunch of different courses. You don't really have to plan on focusing or even finishing all of them, but 
it really helps to try out different courses to get a feel of which type of learning method is the best or what type of structure would be the best for you. The next thing that I would do if I could start over is to do interesting projects. There are so many projects that you'll encounter, especially if you're doing one of these courses on how to learn machine learning, that uh, a lot of these projects are actually really generic and across all of the courses that you might be doing, there would definitely be a lot of similar projects. And if people are taking the same courses, you guess what? They're probably going to be doing the exact same projects as you. So when you're actually applying for those machine learning engineering roles, you're not really going to be standing out if you have the exact same projects as a lot of the other people who are applying. But the best thing that you can do in this scenario is to do projects which are interesting to you. So not only do you stand out from the other candidates who are applying for the same role, but at the same time, you will be speaking much better about this project, which you clearly have done by yourself. You have not followed like a generic blueprint, but you have taken the time and effort to do this entire project by yourself. And that is clearly going to show your level of knowledge much better than if you just did another generic machine learning project. So this is a really important thing, which uh, I think not a lot of people who learn machine learning pay attention to. If you're wondering what type of projects you should be doing, then ask yourself what type of questions do you want to answer? If you want to solve a problem by making use of machine learning, what type of problems do you want to solve? So these type of questions and asking these type of questions definitely leads you in the right direction. However, if all of that fails and you're still really confused about what type of projects you should be doing, you should look at Kaggle. So Kaggle is equivalent to lead code for machine learning engineers. Lead code is for software developers, what Kaggle is for machine learning engineers. So Kaggle has so many different resources, so many different competitions, projects, and ideas for machine learning projects. And also Kaggle has a lot of different data sets that you can work with as well. So if you don't have any ideas of your own for a type of project that you want to work on, look at Kaggle and look at some examples that are on Kaggle of different projects and look at different projects which are on Kaggle and that will definitely give you guys some really good ideas on where you guys can get started as well. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys thought about this in the comment section below and see you in my next video.